Hello everybody and welcome back to another quick tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to set up K-Stars to work with your mount and your camera. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to download AstroBerry or install K-Stars and the INDI server on your Pi. Now AstroBerry already has it installed so I'm just going to open it. So now that we are in K-Stars, uh, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to Tools, Ecos, and then here you can set up your own profile. This will be empty, so the thing you're going to do is you're going to press this plus mark, you're going to name it, you're going to use the, uh, you're going to go on to guiding, and you're going to find one of the guiding, um, let, my, my mount is internal, so I'm going to leave it internal. My mount, it has a bunch of different things um, that you can do. Um, I have the Explore Scientific iExos 100 PMC8, so I'm going to click that. My camera uh, will go down to D DSLRs, Nikon, your guider, your focuser, your filter, your dome, your weather, whatever you want, uh, you can also put on here. Okay, uh, so you can uh, click the auto connect or the port selector. I would just leave everything the same. Now you're going to click save and it should create a profile under here and you're going to click it and then you're going to click this plus the start button. Now it'll bring you up with the INDI control panel and you just have to wait for everything to connect. Now hopefully you did this right and we can connect to the mount. Here we go. Um, and after we do that we can go ahead and close the INDI panel. And now you have all of your capturing things such as polar alignment and stuff like that. So while I'm teaching you uh, how to set up your K-Stars, I'm going to teach you how to polar line, basically. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to this tripod icon and click mount control. Now this will bring up a little um, mount control thingamabobber here. Uh, and you're going to find the star that you want to polar line. So I'm going to put Vega into the find object search bar and click OK and it'll go on to here. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click go to and your mount will start slewing there if you have everything set up correctly. Okay, so here's our mount and it's currently quote unquote slewing to Vega. It's obviously not going to be perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this bullseye kind of icon. What you're going to do is you're going to find your exposure. So I'm going to do 10 second exposures at ISO 800 and uh, we'll see how that how that goes. So we're going to click capture and solve and what I like to put this on is slew to target and basically what this means is it captures the photo, it um, plate solves and then it slews to the target that you want and after it slews you have to click sync, capture and solve again and then you can go on to another star. So here we have our first exposure. Uh, looks like we don't have a lot of stars so um, it probably won't be able to um, find it well, but I believe that this little star right here is Vega. So we'll give it a few minutes to start doing this. Usually this takes a few seconds or a few minutes. It really depends on how close you are to the um, thing here. Now going over the little things here, the accuracy is the arc seconds that you want your mount to be in. So the typical thing is 30 arc seconds, but you kind of want it around uh, 20. Uh, now 30 seconds works fine for me because I have a really wide uh, kind of photo thing right now. So it gave us a, please check if you have sufficient stars. Uh, now obviously um, I'm not with my telescope. So what I'll do is um, I believe in the mount settings itself, you can change the focal length here. So my um, camera kit lens has 15 millimeters of aperture, which isn't great, but um, it, it works as a sort of thing. So here it updated our field of view and it looks quite right. So uh, we'll keep taking some photos um, with longer exposures. Uh, I'd keep it under 10 seconds uh, before polar lining and just keep raising that ISO until you get enough stars in your uh, field of view that you can use to polar line. 
So we'll give it a second to uh, take another photo. All right, so we have our uh, photo here, and it just detected Vega, and I believe that this star is Vega right here. And how we can tell is these two little stars here are right next to Vega, and obviously we're way off in terms of arc seconds, so uh, it'll basically just go ahead and re um, repolar line for us, take another photo, and if it's under the 30... 30 arc seconds on the, the photo itself then it'll tell you that hey it did this so you're good all right so it's getting quite close uh 86 arc seconds is pretty pretty good for the focal length that i'm shooting at but uh, we'll let it keep going just in case okay so it, it keeps doing the thing so we're just gonna leave it uh around 50 arc seconds of accuracy so we're going to go ahead and sync Vega here and we're going to click sync on here again and click capture and solve and this should just uh, leave the um, leave the star in the middle but tell the mount that that is the star that you want that you are pointing at. All right so uh, we're under our um, 50 arc seconds of total um, accuracy. So we're going to go ahead and click um, and go to Arcturus, which is another bright star in the night sky. Now, usually you want um, multiple uh, star alignment, but uh, right now it's kind of early into the night and the sun hasn't set completely. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, let the mount slew over to Arcturus here. Okay, so it says that we are quote unquote pointed at Arcturus. Now obviously we have to go back to slew to target and then click capture and solve again. Uh, we'll give it 10 seconds. Um, now obviously there might be more stars because we're higher in terms of the um, zenith. Uh, basically the better your or the higher your target is in the night sky the better um, visual you'll see in terms of um, astrophotography. Okay, so as you can see, we're pretty close to it over here, but we're not perfect. So it's going to keep going until it's around 50 arc seconds, which it is perfectly capable of doing. And uh, yeah. All right, so we are 32 arc seconds in uh, terms of um, things here. So we're going to click sync on both things again. And this should um, take another 10 seconds, and then we'll be good to go. Okay. So now that you are perfectly polar aligned using two stars uh, or three, it doesn't really matter. Um, now you can start slewing to different parts of the night sky that you want to uh, look at. So I'm going to uh, get a kind of mosaic of all of the targets in uh, this area over here. So what I'm going to do is kind of just align in the middle of all the targets and that should give me a little bit of um, framing. Now obviously you can go after any target you want after you do your polar alignment and obviously you have to click slew to target and it'll find all the stars in here but have to wait for this to rise a little bit longer and yeah. So I hope you guys found this tutorial a little bit helpful. Um, I'll go over capturing and stuff like that in another tutorial after this.